name is Eric. Uh, I'm involved with the, the African Indian people in India. Over 500 years ago, uh, the Portuguese and the British brought a lot of slaves from Africa uh, to India uh, to use for uh, slave labour. When India got the independence, uh, they was given to the care of the Brahmins. Um, at the moment, there's over 500,000 African Indians in India, mainly in Karnataka, Maharashtra and Goa. And basically, they are still slaves. They are abused by the, the I-class Indians. They work for the rich Brahmins who own all the land. And basically, they, they doing, they're doing hard labor, picking cotton, for 30, 35 rupees a day. Um, they have no land, they have no shops, they have no status. They are called Siddhis in Karnataka um, and basically uh, they are just existing on a few rupees they can get. Uh, through the, the Advent Church uh, sponsorship, uh, they managed to educate one of the um, African Indians from Halial near Hubley in Karnataka and he obtained a master's degree through very hard work and uh, a lot of adversity. He gained a little experience in teaching and then he went back to Halial to help his people and uh, through su uh, sponsorship and support from Austria uh, and Monica Pil Pilchard uh, they managed to open a small school, uh, boarding school for 40 of the children. There's over 200 villages in and around Hubley. So therefore, uh, having no money and very little transport, they were required to uh, open a boarding school, uh, which again, the Austrian family kindly uh, pay for. And basically, they've got two rooms and a small kitchen, uh, which you will see on the video, uh, where the children eat, sleep, and teach. Um, and hopefully, through their education, they will be able to raise the status of the African Indian people in uh, India. Uh, they have a big dream. They've opened this small school and their next step is to open a big boarding school, uh, a, a skills college, a health centre, because besides the educational problem, they have no health care. They have no money to pay for it and the Indian uh, doctors in the hospitals treat them very um, very badly and they have a long-term health problem uh, which is uh, they're unable to uh, to solve so therefore the dream is to build their own health center small hospital a church a boarding school for 500 children uh, and at the moment as you will see again in the video the footings have been d dug by the villagers and hopefully next year if we can raise enough money from you and from me in England uh, we will open uh, uh, five more classrooms for up to 200 children. That is the dream. Uh, all I can say now is watch the video. You will see, and if you're like me and everyone else who meets the children, you will fall in love with them. They're not begging. They want a, a better life and they're prepared, prepared to work hard uh, to achieve it. Thank you very much.
Hey! 